Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have a WTA 500 event this week in Chicago, the Chicago Fall Tennis Classic. And it's a brand new event on the WTA calendar this year, and it's worth a lot of points. It's a big name to actually playing, but a lot of names are pulled out of this one. So let's go to the withdrawal list. So we have a lot of withdrawals from this tournament. Kastea, she's pulled out. Goff, Kazakina, Kennan, Konta, Kvitova, Martic, Ostapenko. Pushkova's pulled out of this one as well. Risk, Sabalenka, the world number two, she's also out. Zakari and Vesnina is also out of this one. So a long, long list of withdrawals. Starting at the top of the draw now, and we have 16 seeds in this one, with the top eight seeds getting a buy in the first round. Svetlina, she is the top seed in this one, and she gets a buy in the first round. She awaits the winner of Anisimova and Golubic, who are going at it in the first round. Then we got a battle of the Ukrainians with the qualifier Kozlova versus Kostyak in the first round. Winner of that match will take on either Ruse or the number 15 seed Georgie in the second round. Then we got the number nine seed Pagula taking on the qualifier Fretch. Winner of that match takes on either Pekovic or the lucky loser Gobert Sober, who are going at it in the first round. Then we got the wild card Kim Kleister. She is back in action the first time in a year. And her third comeback as well. So Kim Kleist is back in action. And she takes on a fellow veteran in Shea in the first round. Very tough first round there for Kim. Winner of that match takes on the number six seed, Jabor, in the second round. So players to watch out for. Got to watch out for the number one seed, Svetlina. Starting to come good in the second half of the year. Made the bronze medal match and won the bronze medal at the Olympics. And also just made the quarterfinals of the US Open. So she's starting to get into a little bit of form. Also keep an eye on Jabor as well, who's having a really good year. Korea best season for her. And you've got to keep an eye on Kim Kleisters. And really fun match against Shea in the first round. So let's see if Kleisters can turn back the clock in Chicago. Going to the second quarter of the draw now, we've got Bencic. Number three seed, she gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of either the qualifier English or the wild card Dolhide, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Serrano versus Martin Kova. Winner of that match takes on either Stevens or the number 13 seed Zedinshek in the second round. Then we've got the number 12 seed Kudamatova taking on the qualifier Kalinskaya. Battle of the Russians in that first round. Winner of that match takes on either Davis or the qualifier from Brazil, Maya, in the second round. Then we've got Sasnovich versus Keys. Winner of that match takes on the number five seed Rabakina in the second round. So players to watch out for, definitely got to watch out for the two big seeds. Bencic, the gold medalist at the Olympics. Also made the quarterfinals of the US Open, so she's in a little bit of form coming into the second half of the season. And Rabakina as well, having a great year in 2021, so got to keep an eye on both of them. And also got to keep an eye on Stevens. I know that she hasn't had the greatest of seasons over the last couple of years, but she is a former champion of the US Open and is playing in America, so got to keep an eye on Stevens. She might be able to get some form, and if she can get through that first round against Zedinshek, maybe she can make a run into the second part of the tournament. Going to the third section of the draw, the top half of the bottom half of the draw, we've got Mertens, the number seven seed. She gets a buy in the first round. She awaits the winner of Cornet versus Jastremska, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Buskova versus Doi. Winner of that match takes on either the qualifier Flipkins or the number 10 seed Collins in the second round. Then we've got the number 16 seed Teichman taking on Kanepi. Winner of that match takes on either the wildcard Vandaway or Lynette in the second round. Then we've got Tomjanovic versus Von Drusova. Winner of that match takes on the number 4 seed Pavlichenkova in the second round. So this part of the draw is kind of wide open for me. It could be anybody who gets out of this part of the draw. But we're going to keep an eye on the big two seeds. Obviously, the French Open finalist from this year, Pavlichenkova, the number four seed, and Mertens, the number seven seed. He's not too bad on the hard court. She's had mixed results throughout the season, but she doesn't mind playing on the hard courts. And also got to keep an eye on Teichman. She had a great season just before the US Open. Didn't really do amazing at the US Open itself, but she was really playing into some form just before the US Open in the big tournaments there. So watch out for Teichman. This is a tournament that maybe she can make a run, especially in this part of the draw where anybody is going to get through. I'm going to the bottom section of the draw now. This is probably the most stacked part of the draw if we're talking about names. Andrescu, she gets a buy in the first round. She comes in as the number eight seed in this one. She'll await the winner of the qualifier Cabrera or Rogers, who are playing in the first round. Then we've got another qualifier, Hontama versus Garcia in the first round. Winner of that match will take on either Brengel or the number 11 seed, Contivate, in the second round. Then we've got the number 14 seed, Azarenka, taking on Zheng. Winner of that match takes on either the wildcard Baptist or Paulini in the second round. Then we have Vekic versus Lee. Winner of that match takes on Muguruza, the number two seed, in the second round. So as I said, this is a stacked part of the draw. As opposed to the last section of the draw, which was wide open, this one has some really big names involved. Obviously, we've got three Grand Slam champions in this part of the draw as well. You got Andrescu watching out for her this week. Hasn't had a great 2021 in her comeback season. 
mixed results. She's had some good results at a couple of the American events, like Miami at the start of the year, but it's falling down the rankings after losing all the points from the US Open two years ago. Also, Muguruza, she's trying to play for that final spot at the WTA Finals in a couple of months' time, so she's got a lot to play for and comes in as the number second seed. And I'm keeping an eye on Conservate this week because she actually won a big title last week a WTA 500 event in Ostrava. So let's see if she can back it up after winning the biggest title of her life and coming into a very stacked part of the draw. So there it is, the Chicago tournament. The first time we're getting a tournament in Chicago on the WTA. Well, this tournament in particular, a WTA 500 event. And we've got some big names involved. Some names are pulled out, which would have made it much, much bigger with Sabalenka and those kind of players. But we've still got Svetolina. We've still got Mogarutha on Drescu. We've got massive names playing in this one. Who do you think is going to win this one? Let me know down in the comments below because it's very wide open. And we all know that WTA, anybody can win anything at any time. doesn't matter what your ranking is. But this event's got some big names. And I'm expecting the big names to do well here. So having a look at the draw. And I'm going to go with Bencic to win this one. I feel like she's had a pretty good couple of months. And she's in a pretty good part of the draw as well. No real threats until the quarterfinals where she'll probably play against Rabakina. So I'm going to go with Bencic. I think that, you know, winning the gold medal a couple of months ago and also having a good run at the US Open. Also played a tournament a couple of weeks ago, having a pretty decent run there. So I'm going to go with Bencic to win this one. Again, let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one? So a new WTA 500 event in Chicago. Got some big names playing.